This shoe has got great rebound, better than the flames for sure. It will be very interesting to run in these. So guys, I got another shoe from 361 Degrees. I've already reviewed two shoes from this brand, the Flame 3.0 and 3.5. This is the 361 Degrees Furious 2.0. These are slightly higher priced than the Flame and I also believe is a more premium model. You know, this was listed on their website for 548 Saudi Real, which is about $155. I got some discount codes and then I ended up buying these shoes for 462 Saudi Real, which is approximately 122 US dollars. And now I can open them and see exactly how they look inside the box first. Man, I think this is another fantastic pair of good looking shoes. Man, and they feel so light. They feel so light on my hand. Wow. Mm. Wow. These shoes, this is really, 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 really nice, guys. Mm. Mm. Okay. They also put some extra laces here. You know, this is a smooth one in case you don't like this, I guess. But I, I don't think I'll be using that because I really do love this one based on my experience from the Flame 3.0 and 3.5. For a shoe that I paid approximately $122, uh, that's amazing. And looking at it, they are also low profile, not a super stacked shoe like that. Unless it and see what they have here. Wow, the upper is just net like, just like the Flame 3.0. With just very few overlays here. And even on these overlays here, they also have some holes. So breathability will be top notch in these shoes. And the upper feels very light, uh, not super smooth on the inside. They feel kind of like the upper in the Adios Pro 3 and Sen 9. Of course, you are going to wear this with stockings and they are still going to be fine. This tongue is just fantastic, man. It's so soft. It's not corseted. But it still got the less look to keep it from sliding too much when you are running. But I like the thickness. So it's going to give you that nice comfort under the laces. Of course, like most racing shoes, no significant padding here. Just minimal softness around here. Just to keep it soft around the ankle. And then you see this tiny piece of foam on the heel counter to keep the heel locked in. And then moving on to the midsole. Of course, the insole is gummed to the midsole. This is... Pretty, pretty soft. Yeah, it's going to give a very nice underfoot feel. You know, the midsole is still low profile, like the Flame. The stack height is not on the website. I'm going to compare it to the Flame and see which one is higher. And it's looking like a very low drop here, probably 5 millimeter heat to 2 drop here. What I noticed is that the foam here is much softer than the foam in the Flame. So squishy under my hand. And it also has very nice rebound. So I think this is going to be very bouncy and soft on the foot. Even here, there are two densities to this foam actually. This is the plate, which you can see from the outside here. And you can also see the rest of the plate under here. This foam below this plate is firmer, probably for stability. While the one above, which is right under the foot, is softer. It is this upper foam that is very, very squishy. And it's also got some side walls here. The midsole height is about here. So this here is some side walls on the outer and inner side to assist in stability. You know, this is reminiscent of a fast R nitro. And then moving on to the outsole. Tiny piece of outsole rubber on the heel. Still leaving a lot of bare areas while the forefoot is much more covered. If it's anything like the rubber in the 3.0 and 3.5, then it's going to be okay. But by and large, I think I like what I'm seeing about these shoes so far. The quality is superb. They look properly well thought out, well made shoe. So I think I'm happy with what I've gotten so far. But then the test of the pudding is in the eating, you know. So I think I'm going to put this on the road tomorrow, you know. Probably do a half marathon in this and then see exactly how they deliver. Next is to put this on the feet and check out the feel and fit. On sizing, it feels true to US size. This is my third 361 degree shoe, and they are all US size 11, and they all fit perfectly, including this. Nice shoe length, decent toe box width for me, kind of snug, but nice for a racer. I advise going through to size unless you have really wide feet. So now I have the shoes on my feet, and I must say they look even better now than in hand. And they do feel good too. The upper is minimally stretchy, so it molds nicely around the feet. It feels very soft underfoot also, softer than the Flame 3.0 and 
It's not big on ad support, but manageable. The heat area feels quite narrow. I hope stability will not be an issue. Lockdown is fair. Great at the midfoot, but minimal heat sleep is noted, which got better with the runner's loop secured. Overall, it feels very comfortable. In terms of response, it will be really good because I can feel the energy like a coiled spring under my feet. These shoes got great rebound, better than the flames for sure. It will be very interesting to run in these. I can't wait. Finally, I like what I'm getting. Many pros, a few cons. You just can't have it all, right? So next is to go on a run and see how everything wraps up and then come back with a full performance review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.